Alrighty, here we have Run Bean Galactic being played on Nintendo Switch. Courtesy of Asia Soft. I want to thank them for the opportunity. This game is a pretty, pretty cool, um, endless running uh, game where you, where you, uh, where the point of the game is to uh, <laughs> avoid the obstacles coming at you while running around the planet. So you, here you have the ability to uh, select different astronauts. Um, I've unlocked two so far. I've got uh, Run Berry and Run Bear. If I hit apply, that's that's Run Bear, and that's Run Berry. I'll go ahead and play as Run Bear, and I'll start the game. And so essentially, you just have the one jump button. Nope. Oh. And then you hold down to. Um, duck under those yellow uh, yellow obstacles. I jumped when I shouldn't have jumped. Jump over spikes. And then if you hit if you hit the stars, uh, that'll make you jump uh, a couple of rounds, which is kinda nice. And then if you hit the directional sign, it'll change the direction. Oh. Now if I go to menu, if I go to astronauts, now 175 um, points. So I can actually unlock uh, Run Beauty or uh, Run Beak. I'll go ahead and do Run Beauty, unlock. Apply, sure, I'll play as Run Beauty. And this is the game, guys. I mean, the game's simplistic, yet yeah, challenging. I mean, the concept is simplistic, but the game itself is pretty challenging. And if you're a fan of uh, Endless Runners, um, this game's definitely worth, worth checking out. It's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely one of those, uh, oh, jumped why I should have <laughs> talked. Uh, definitely one of those games where you're, it's a, definitely one of those high score chasing games. That's definitely been quite a bit of fun, honestly. Um, am I any good at it? No, I'm really not. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I, I haven't had a ton of fun with this game. Um, it's simplistic, it's challenging, it's fun. Well, simplistic in concept, challenging in gameplay, and very fun. Uh, so definitely a game I would highly recommend checking out. Uh, let's go ahead and play as a different astronaut here. Let's go ahead and do Run Barry. Oh. You can also use the D-pad if you choose to. You, can, you don't have to use the uh, the buttons to jump or anything, which is kind of nice. Or you can use the analog stick. So the D-pad if you like. Oh, so it gets pretty challenging <laughs> the further you get. I do like how it starts out um, black and white and then goes to color. It's kind of neat. I like how you can uh, continuously hold the down button or down arrow or it or uh, continuously duck and still be able to 
to dodge those uh, those traps. Highest I've gotten thus far has been 47. My highest run. Ow. I did get too close. Let me see if I can unlock the last one. I can. Let's do run beak. Okay, we're going to apply it. And play as run beak. So now we've gone ahead and unlocked all of the astronauts. So as you can see, it's pretty pretty easy to unlock all of the characters. It doesn't take too long. It takes about you know maybe maybe half hour or so, really. Maybe an hour at most to get enough points to to unlock them all. I hate that. I keep hitting. I keep. If you hold, if you hold the. Try it again. You can keep holding the jump button to keep jumping, which sometimes <laughs> trips me up. I like when that happens, though. Oh, wow, 48. Highest attempt. Well, highest achieved, rather. That was pretty cool. But yeah, the game gets pretty intense pretty quickly, as you can see. And the traps that, that spawn are random. And overall, it's a great... Oh, pfft, that was dumb. Overall, it's a great game. Um, what I definitely recommend if you like uh, uh, endless, runner, uh, endless running platformers. Definitely game to check out. Uh, I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. This has been Run Being Galactic. Uh, on Nintendo Switch. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.